good morning and welcome to my brand new apartment. It looks the same, but it's actually a completely different room. We'll get into that in a minute. Oh God, cat toys everywhere. This is another project I've been working on this month that's been keeping me really, really busy. But first let's say hi to Mauro. You excited to be in the vlog again? Yeah? They missed you. Oh, he's sleepy. We were playing all morning, so he's exhausted. Today's video is kindly sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. I'm very appreciative of the sponsorship as bringing Maro over to Japan was extremely pricey, so I need all the help I can get. <laughs> I found out that Mark, my friend Mark, has the exact same prescription as me, and he tried on a pair of my round gold glasses and he loved them, so I gave them to him, but now I really miss them, so I had to get another pair. <laughs> so now me and Mark can match when we meet up again, but I love them. I'll link my frames down below if you want to match with me. If you're in the market with some new glasses, do check out glassesusa.com. You can get a full pair of frames and prescription lenses starting at just $30. And they also have a 100% money back guarantee if for some reason you're not satisfied with your frames. Yeah, so as many of you guys know, I started a little stationary business with my friend Ushka who lives down in Tokyo. It's been really fun and we've been looking for a place that we can use as an office up here in northern Japan. Normally I go down to Tokyo once a month and chill at Ushka's house and stay there for a few days and we do all the packing and shipping and everything. But now that Maro's here, I kind of wanted a place up here so we could kind of take turns and go back and forth. And rent is so affordable up here in North Japan that honestly, for the price of like a week of hotel, you can just get an entire apartment. So I rented another room uh, in my building to use as an office and for a place for Ushka to stay when she comes up here. So we've got this cool sofa bed here that Maro has <laughs> decided is his. It's really cool. You can just like pull this part down and it folds out into a sofa bed really easily. Our little business started as more of a hobby for both of us because we love stationery and we wanted to share it with people around the world that also love Japanese stationery but we've kind of decided that we're gonna focus a lot on it this year and try to be profitable enough so that we can donate some money to our favorite cat shelters in Japan. So that's our goal. We're gonna work our hardest. And now that I've got this space that I can dedicate to just organizing our stock and keeping everything in order, I think it will make that a lot easier. So I'm really excited about it. I've been spending a lot of time down here kind of sorting out where to put the furniture, etc. So Maro has been down here with me. I've got his cat tower over here. I've kind of set up all his food and toys and stuff. Eventually I will bring him into my regular apartment, of course, but because I've been spending so much time down here, we're kind of just living down here while I'm setting it up. He's got this cute little washing machine scratcher. I love this. I got this from a store called Awesome Store in Shibuya. I think it's a brand new store. They have some really cool house stuff. Over here, I got him this water fountain, but he hates it. He like, he won't touch it. <laughs> so I don't know what to do to make it more appealing. Over here, I've got an automatic feeder that will feed him twice a day. Um, just a little portion of dry food. I don't like feeding him dry food. He has a diet of mostly wet food, but he really loves this dry food and it's kind of like his comfort food. So I wanted to have this for him while he's getting settled in here. And eventually I'm hoping to switch him to an all raw diet. If you guys have any advice on creating a homemade raw food for your cats, tell me what your cats liked. Any tips would be very much appreciated because I have a feeling it's gonna be really hard to get him to eat it. Oh my God, he's using it. It's a miracle. Yeah, I'm gonna be making miso soup later. Every time I show miso soup in a video, you guys ask for my recipe. It's very, very simple, but I will show you how I like to make it. We'll be doing that for dinner. Marl looked sleepy, so I set up the bed for him. This is what it looks like when it's turned into a bed. It's really comfy, actually, surprisingly comfy. I was just about to take you guys outside to film the sakura because the sun is finally out and they just started blooming here in Morioka. I'm not sure if the main park downtown that I showed you guys in the fall, I don't know if their sakura are blooming yet, but I thought we could go for a walk and check them out. But I noticed that I had a package in the mail. Let's quickly open it together. I ordered some clothes from ASOS. 
oh, this is the one I'm the most excited about. The colors were so pretty. I think it was Nike, no, Puma. It looks perfect. So it's got one dark purple sleeve and one pink sleeve. And I thought it would just be adorable for spring. Cute. That is a definite yes. I'm really glad I got that. Next is a t-shirt that's already covered in cat hair. It's got tigers on it. Why is it so big? I was actually worried that this was gonna be too small because I ordered it in a small. I guess it's men's? I don't know. That's really big for a small, but I'm sure I can make it work. Tuck it in or something. The design's awesome. And last, another tiger shirt. <laughs> I'm prepping for next year. I think next year is Year of the Tiger. Finally, it's my year. Oh no, it's a crop top. Might be able to make it work. <laughs> I'm not a fan of cropped shirts. They're just not flattering on me. Maybe it's baggy enough that if I wear high jeans, it won't be too cropped. I like the design though. I never have much luck ordering online, but I kind of don't have a choice because nothing fits me here in shops in Japan. Hopefully those tops aren't too bad, but at least I got a cute spring hoodie out of the shipment. So I'm happy about that. Let's go find some sakura. I decided to bring you guys across town to one of my favorite spots to see the sakura in Morioka. We're not gonna know if they're blooming until we get there, but that tree was in perfect full bloom. So I think we have good chances. Lots of these trees are in bloom as well. So I think the spot that I'm hoping for will be. Look at those cute little daffodils down there too. I don't remember those from last year. Someone must have planted them. Okay, we've made it to the place I wanted to take you guys and they are blooming. I think they're in full bloom. They look beautiful from what I can see. These weeping sakura are also in bloom, but I don't think they're full bloom yet. There's still some buds on them. So we'll come back to see them when they're fully blooming because they're so beautiful. These are probably the most beautiful trees in all of Morioka. Oh, this one looks like it's almost ready. Look at that. So this here is my favorite spot. It's basically on the outskirts of downtown along the riverbank. But the sakura here form a tunnel and it's just so beautiful. Look at this. So glad they're blooming aren't they beautiful you do see lots of people come here to take photos but it's not one of the spots that gets too crowded so it is pretty easy to come here and get some nice photos or video there's the shinkansen going by can you see it thought i'd also bring you guys to the castle park while we're in the downtown area and the sakura are in full bloom here i don't think i've ever been here in the spring um, at least when the sakura were in full bloom, but this is pretty impressive. In the description box I'll link the video on my live stream channel where I showed you guys the fall leaves because this park is so gorgeous in the fall as well. As you can see all these trees here are bare. That's because they're maple trees. Looks like all the sakura are kind of outside of the castle walls. There is one more place that I really want to go so I'm hoping that Quinlan will be up for it when we hang out. It's a lake and I haven't been there since the first time I lived in Morioka which was like 15 years ago, but I remember it being a really good sakura spot. So 
hopefully we can hit that up together. I just got home and there was a package in the mail for Maro from Ushka. Maro, what's this? Come see. What's that? A present for you. I think I know what it is. You're gonna like this. Maro, come here. Maro. Look. It's your favorite. Say thank you, Ushka. Maro, say thank you. Say thank you. <laughs> All right, time to make some miso soup for dinner. Miso soup is one of the easiest soups to make. Basically, you only need three things. Miso paste, dashi, and number three, whatever ingredients you wanna to add to your soup. It's completely up to you here. So if I could give you guys one tip on cooking miso, it's to get all your ingredients cooked and ready to eat before you add in the miso paste. So once you add in the miso, you don't want your soup to boil because that will ruin the flavor. So get your dashi ready, cook all your ingredients in the dashi, except for the garnishes like say green onions, things you're just gonna sprinkle on top after, put those off to the side. But if you've got tofu or any other veggies like carrots or something that needs boiling, get that all boiled and ready to eat in the dashi. And once that's ready, then add in your miso paste. You wanna turn off the heat before adding in the miso paste because if it boils after you add that in, it's gonna kind of ruin the flavor. That's basically the one rule of miso soup. Put your miso paste in a big ladle like this and kind of work it into the hot water and dissolve it as you go. This will help you evenly dissolve your miso paste throughout the soup without mashing up all the ingredients. And that's it, that's how easy it is. And honestly, you can really put anything in your miso soup. If you guys try this out, tag me in photos on Instagram and let me know what you decided to put in your miso soup. Thanks so much for chilling with me today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm so glad I could show you the Sakura. My next video will be another Sakura adventure. Stay tuned for that. You can find my glasses down below in the description box. Thank you so much to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. You are the best. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye for now.